Hey guys, and welcome to another day in the life of a Christmas tree farmer. We got these trees, about 180 of them, from Chief River Nursery. And uh, here's what they look like. We ordered, it should be, well, it's, we ordered, uh, these are at least about a foot tall. So, that's good. And we got the mix, and we got our bucket, and we're, we're mixing it up. This is the stuff. We, we had uh, some super gel or something like that. I'm not sure what they name it, but we got that, and we're letting it soak in the water. And then we're going to put the trees in the bucket. And it's not sunny or anything out tonight, today right now, so we're gonna, going to put the ones in the bucket that we're going to be planting and leaving the others in the, in the box until we're ready for them. And commentate. Okay, he's starting to plant the first tree. He's using the dibble bar and making the hole. And then he's got to take the first tree. They're in the bucket here. And the tap root's got to go straight down. That's the longest you root. You can't J-hook it. That's J-hook. Yeah, you can't. Roots cannot do that. You can't do that. you got to put it straight oh. down in the hole. I see. You see all that crystal yep. looking ice? Yeah. That's from the stuff that we put in it. Okay. That we mixed with the water. Okay. Okay, there's a couple of them in here. So see? Okay. Alright. We'll leave that in there. Now he's going to take and he's going to plant that first one in the hole. See, it's already starting to. Maybe I should have made a wider hole. You're supposed to make a wide hole. Yeah, I need to make a wider hole. You said wide. That's not wide enough. Go way over. There you go. You got to be able to get them roots down there in go. there. Yeah. And make sure the tap root, and make sure your other roots are down in there. And that tap root is not bent over. Alright, there's a discoloration right there. Okay. So, I'm gonna. Stick leave your. It you leave. Side. Stick your bar in there. And this is not working like they did in the other videos. Now hold your. Gotta hold your tree up. And there you go, and push it over. You gotta be tight. This is really you know, That's not. This isn't working like they did in the other video. No. No. Now you step on it, but it's gotta be up straight. There we go. And press it in. And make sure that it's and that's the first one he planted. Mm -hmm. As he goes on it'll get better. He'll find out more how to do it. Alright. Alright. Yeah. And go ahead. To the next. You got enough one up there. Oh here. we got one there too, yeah. Yep. That's just the... And this is the second one. They're planted six feet apart. Way over. Okay. Now with this rain now, the ground should be loose enough. And there should be enough water in the ground. 
And there should be enough water in the ground now that you won't have to water these. <laughs> yeah, we won't have to water for a while. No, no. Now he brought the cart around to the other side. Have got to get another tree. Look how small these things are. Well, yeah. I think. I think we can cut the root off to about there. Well, cut sure it off we and try it. Cut it off and try it. Uh, where's the scissors at? Scissors are in there, right down there at the end. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. And then cut off a little bit of it. I wouldn't. Yeah, we cut it right about there. Okay. Now you know you cut the taproot too. You know. Yeah, that that's fine. You see the discoloration where? Yep. Yeah. That's where we need to plant it right there. Yep. Okay. It can't really go any deeper than that. Nope. Or the tree won't won't materialize. It won't grow. And we're not. Make sure you get them down in there. OJ roots. Okay. No J root. But it was a lot easier watching another video on how to do these things than doing it. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Whoop. Stand your tree up. There you go, and I push her over. That's what you're supposed to do. There you go. Like that? Then you come in on this side with your foot. And... Like this. <laughs> okay. Tree. You don't want any air? No air to get in there. there. No air to get in there, so you got to seal it off. Okay, and there's the tree. All right. Yep. Just tell them about the pipe. Yep. The pipe. Mm-hmm. Now I'm go to your next tree. Just add a couple inches when you... Yeah. The... Wow. That went down in. Okay. This should be your next one. I don't think we have to cut any off this one. That one isn't, no, I, I wouldn't. There isn't enough root there. Yeah, see? That's good. Yeah, they're right about even on the root right there. Yep. Okay. No J root. Get there, make sure that taproot is down. The others don't make any difference as long as the taproot's down. Straight down in the hole. Deeper. I need to dig deeper. It's curling up. Okay. There's water down in there. Yeah, we, I could hear it. Mm hmm. That's good. Don't have to worry about them drying out. Oops. Yep, there you go. Okay. I ain't working that well. No. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't get in your roots. No. We gotta find a we've gotta find a better way than this. This is not working good. Alright. Go ahead and cut it. Stop. Uh we'll come back later. We gotta find a different way. It's... Okay. Alright. Yeah, this is what we did. Going over back and dibbling back up. 
to close the root in. And uh, and everyone's coming back in and closing up the big holes. I think it's just a little too wet. And, yeah, it might be a little too wet, but I think it's okay for now. You just close the one hole. Otherwise it's just one right there. And we got another one right here. That big hole is for the double tree pushing it back in. And everyone's gonna come mash it down and yeah, set this tree straight. And now we're planting the Fraser firs. These are what they look like. Well, that's a bunch of them. And we're planting them in these rows. And we've already planted a few of them right there. All the way up until, eh, right about there. The ground started getting too wet to actually put them. Uh, I don't, one, two, three, four. Nineteen. We've got nineteen planted so far, and we got like sixty-eight of them, or sixty-four, one of the two. All right, we're about to call it a day, and we got all these rows. Planted with the uh, Fraser firs, and they're a bit hard to see, but in about five years they'll be ready for harvest. We got those done. We did about a hundred and uh, about a hundred and forty, no, hundred and thirty trees today, and we still have fifty left. So we're going to save those for tomorrow, and we'll see you soon. Don't forget, love it, love it, and share it, thumbs up, and hit that bell icon, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, people, we got the uh, trailer loaded up, and uh, what's everything we need, and we're going to the west field today, and plant the white pines. All right, what Arvin's doing right here is he is pounding in the stake to mark the edge of the field. And actually, the the lines right there are the edge of the field too. And down here, and uh, I should that's, have put some red tips on them, then we can see them. Yeah, right. Now we got a stake over here. Oh, you climbed this today? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just reclaiming. I also reclaimed a bunch of this area today. You're not going to plant in here, though, are you? I'm going to plant right to that stake. You see the edge of that? Pick a spot over there and then pick that spot and kind of. Well, you want me to put a stake in here? Right there, right there. Right here? Yeah. And by reclaiming this area, we gained uh, about 15 feet more. Okay. Yeah, they'll be all right here. They'll grow on the hill. That's what we're doing. We got our bar right there. If you could see it, our bar. That's six foot bar. And that's going to measure, we're doing eight foot rows and six feet between each tree and each row. I mean, and the row. So the rows are eight feet apart and the trees are six feet apart. And right now we got this field right here. Well, this parcel, we're going to call it a parcel until the tall grass, green grass right there. We mowed this area way down to the, you know, we basically scalped it, and we're going to plant the trees here. 
in this area. The trees planted here are white pine. The where no Arvin is and this green patch right there, those are gonna be noble firs. And I think Austrian pine right here in this field. And something else over there. I haven't figured that out. I got it figured out, I just haven't gotten the map for the field yet, so we're on me right now. Now right, first thing Hang on, I'm going to show you what a double bar is. My thoughts on it aren't really too great, but... Okay. This is a double bar. It's got a handle. And uh, it's got a foot rest. Or a foot pusher thing right there. And then a blade. A blade is about 8 inches long roughly so that means all of our tree roots cannot be more than eight inches long so and over here I got all the holes dug out for the trees that actually in, in wet weather will allow them to dry up a little bit and all these holes are about six feet apart I could go a little bit further, closer, but six feet will let me mow in between the trees pretty easy. And I do have a, I have not tilled it, but it's just, it's just been too wet to till. And our trees came in, so we need to plant them in the ground, so. But hopefully we can mash the mud up around them and have it take care take over so we live right there this a uh, little creek I don't know if you can hear the frogs in it or not but I, I guess I wild them up when I was started mowing over there I heard a bunch of them yeah there was one right there and I reclaimed my about 10 feet of my land. I only had like one mower width past that, past that tree area, and I got now I got about three. So I'm going to reclaim all of this land. I'm going to be cutting down these trees. Oops, a little far, a little close, but right. Right where those uh, corn dog plants are, is right after that is where the water is. And they like to grow right on the edge. They don't need very much depth water, but they do love water. So if you have any of these in your yard, you have wet ground, like all the time. So all over in there mostly is the swamp. Right now it's marsh. If you step in it, you'll sink down about at least a foot. I got my foot out of there before it sunk down anymore. But I have walked over with muck boots in this area. And yeah. Now on this side right here, the water goes on the other side of that tree right there for the most part. I'm sure it does come up into this area during heavy rains and stuff, but that's about it for that. So let's get back to dibbling. Okay guys, I've just planted 50 white pine Christmas trees. And on, the, on this field, on the other field, there's about 135, and uh, and that's the planting method. Use the double bar, poke it into the ground, and push one way and then the other, 
and then you put the tree root into it and although you don't want your roots past the double bar tool from the root or also the J root and all that. Now we're going over here to check out what our roots doing. He's cutting out this tree. He loves that chainsaw. I think uh, might be attached to his right hand or left hand. So, what are we doing, Arvin? Well, I just stuck my hand in a sticker bush. Uh oh. Yeah, they're coming up all over in here. But hmm? I'm trying to cut all these bottom rims off so you, so you can mow in here now. Uh -oh. Maybe if I can get this cleared up, you can mow this before we go back. Yeah, I doubt it. I'm kind of wanting to go back now. Okay. Or as soon as you get this done. Well, we'll do it another back, day. If you want to load and go back with your stuff, I, I'll do it and I'll walk back. Nah, well, well, I'm tired. I know you're tired. You gotta be. Huh? I'm, I'm tired. I know you're tired. You gotta be. Yeah. So, let's go on back after. Okay, check on the fence up there. Two of you know I got. All right. And see if the others will Also, Arvin started making a fence. Uh, makeshift fence and uh, you got some bush right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and get a close-up. Yeah, dude. He made it with uh, these fence posts that we got and twine. So it's not a full fence, but it's a fence that leads to mark boundaries. So.